What is up YouTube? It is the Heartbreak Cat and today in this weekly animation tip I'm going to be addressing an issue that I see a lot of beginning animators have a problem with and that is fidgetiness. So basically what I see a lot of newer animators do is I'll be watching their animations for instance and instead of having you know a normal flow I'll see a lot of you know shakiness as the figures it just looks really bad unrealistic and it's not that hard of a problem to fix. I'm going to first show you two examples of what I mean when I see fidginess and what it should be more like. So as you can see, Matt Hardy seems kind of, you know, spazzy as he's trying to do this moonsault and it just doesn't really look good with the movements. I also see a problem where sometimes the frames look out of order and I'm not sure why animators don't notice this while they're putting it together um, whether it's on purpose or not it, it would just be a lot better to remove the frame or even move it back if it helps or makes the animation look better but really there's no excuse for animations where it goes from like this to this back to this it just it, it's a really simple fix guys so now that I've showed you what the problem is, I'm going to give a few solutions on how to fix it. One of the simplest fixes to uh, fidginess is making sure that you have the string placement right. Now most animators um, have two looped strings, you can't really see it here, but basically it goes around the figure's neck and the loop comes up and it's just, it's just a circle string basically and you just, you know, put it around the neck and it's good and then you usually get one for the legs if you're doing any kind of pretty much any move but uh... but noticing that it, it makes it not really shake that much you know when you're holding in the air like you can really oh, and another thing actually um... T take your time when taking these pictures i mean like if you're moving it it's gonna it's gonna you know move a little bit but then look it stops in place now, how can you, you know, if you're trying to move the joints and all and trying to make sure it's not stiff, how can you make sure that they're still in the same placement so it doesn't look all sporadic as it's going? Um, just, it, this kind of takes practice and it, it's one of those things that once you've been doing it long enough, you figure it out. But you generally have a sense of where the figure was in the last frame. You can kind of feel it. Uh, that sounds bad, but like, you, you really can, like, you know, if, if I'm moving it here, I'm going to take the figure away. I'm going to move the figure. I'm going to put it back. I know it was around this general area. And you can even double check, you know, your old pictures. And just really be cautious of that. I mean, it's, it's something that you'll get better at over time. But just try to have a general sense of where the figure was in the previous frame. And certainly don't be afraid to look at previous pictures. That's a great way to make sure that your animation isn't fidgety. Just really take your time. I, I think that's the best tip that I can possibly give is to really have patience with this. Not try to, you know, get it over with and, all right, picture, 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 you know, because it's just going to look bad. I mean, just taking a few more seconds to let the, you know, figure kind of stay in place and make sure you have the positioning right, it really makes a huge difference. So um, that's the weekly animation tip. Please leave requests, comments. Um, I kind of want to give a mix between beginners and... Who the hell is texting me? No. <laughs> um, I kind of want to, you know, have a mix between beginner tips and pro tips. I know someone um, asked me how to do a moonsault in the last video. And basically, uh, it's, it's pretty much what I've been doing here, you know, the two-string technique. And once you reach the halfway point, you basically switch the string to the other side so then it's going down. Um, to whoever made that comment, I don't remember your name, but uh, yeah. So yeah, like, comment, uh, whatever, and um, I hope you learned something, and please leave requests. Peace.